Hello, and welcome to Endless Mode. This is MGX. And I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm T. Stymac. And this is Hyrule Warriors. Probably the best Warriors game ever made. Uh, it's certainly the most dynamic one I've come across. Um, I haven't played all the Warriors, but I feel like I've got a pretty diverse look at it. I've played Dynasty and Samurai in a few different iterations, and I even played the Gundam one. I have played Dynasty Warriors 7. Alrighty. I have also never played a Zelda game, so we are in all kinds of new territory for me. Nice! We have to find the person to wear the green tunic. <laughs> this will be a long and arduous journey. Out to the yard. <laughs> oh. Spoilers! <laughs> Ruin the joke. I'm just saying, they usually trip on him on their way down to get breakfast. <laughs> no, they... Don't? He has to fight his way through, he... like, hordes of monsters to get to a castle. This is the one where they find him in breakfast. No, uh, uh, Ocarina of Time, he breaks into her house. Well, he had to go on a long, he arduous journey. He went on journey. a long and arduous journey. I imagine that... Uh, he wandered out of the woods into a castle. He had I... to fight skeletons. I imagine it depends on whose perspective you're seeing this from. <laughs> like, if you're seeing it from Princess Zelda's perspective, he, he just, just shows wanders up. up and he says, just Hello. wanders out of the woods and says, Ha! <laughs> That's a good point. He doesn't actually say anything. You just have to find the mute. <laughs> yeah, well. How come how come he's not wearing a helmet? The he got knocked off during training. It's why he can't talk. <laughs> it's a concussion. <laughs> that actually makes more sense than anything else I've yeah. ever heard. Yeah. Alright. Those are both two new characters, do not steal. They both fit really well. Right? Don't they look good in Zelda EE? -E? Sure. Uh, the, the big ghosty one looks like an oversized... I'm going because I'm a soldier. The, uh, the big ghosty one uh, looks like an oversized Poe, which are like ghost enemies in the Zelda franchise. And then, uh, I mean, honestly, the other one just looks like a trusted lieutenant of an evil overlord. Which fits in the fantasy setting real nice. And turns into a dragon. He does! Which also fits in the setting real nice, because, I mean, Ganon usually turns into, like, a giant boar or pig monster of some kind. I have nothing of interest to add to this conversation. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm here. You're here because you're our friend, and we were going to play some games together. Ah, I... I... It's always satisfying in these games to just mow through some enemies. You know, this... I, I had a weird moment when you first walked out and there were all these men because I forgot for a second that we were playing a Warriors game and I was thinking about the last time I was watching somebody play a Zelda game. I was watching my buddy Marcus do uh, <laughs> Trial of the Sword on Master Mode. Oh, or right, something. For, uh, for Breath of the Wild. For Breath yeah. of the Wild. And I thought, well, this is a bad situation, and uh, it's going to go very poorly. And it is going very poorly, just for the little orange man. Right. Well, we also don't have to worry about our sword and shield breaking, or <laughs> uh, any of that nonsense. So. Oh no, there's a fairy on the field, we can't fight monsters. What? Why is it on the field? Uh, monsters showed up. It was just hanging out. It's being chased. Uh, that's the fairy proxy. Proxy does all of my talking. <laughs> Handy name, man. <laughs> yes. There's a lot going on. Oh, on yeah. Screen right now. <laughs> You're not wrong. It's also sharing some dialogue, and we're getting to know everybody. It's real good. Oh, oh. Dark Forces have surrounded Zelda. What are you sure. doing? Wait, what's what's Impa doing? Impa's, Impa's her bodyguard. Stuck. Impa's stuck behind a uh, invisible wall. No, uh, rocks. Oh, can't do anything about the rocks. Oh, you don't have a bomb gauntlet yet? No, <laughs> I just started out. I don't have a song. Let's go. <laughs> The really weird thing oh, boy. about Warriors games is how you can just kill 50 men with 
a, th a thrust, but it's a territory control game, so who cares? <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> Uh, they exist in order to uh, fill up my super meter. <laughs> it's they're essentially the dots in Pac-Man, but they're a little more dynamic and interesting than the dots in Pac-Man. <laughs> All right, come on, Volga. Um, is Volga a bad guy from Street Fighter? <laughs> That's Vega. Sure. I know yeah, how Vega was, Vega was the one with the mask and the club. Uh, well, at least in the American version. They, they changed his name. Alright. Anyway. Yeah, I, okay, I know a so lot about video games. When enemies attack, they'll usually drop their guard. You hit them there to get uh, a special attack on them. That's how you do actual damage to bad guys. Unless you're horrendously over level. Right. Which, I mean, you know, we did get to that point at one point. <laughs> yeah. There's Impa, my favorite. I, I do like, for the most part, uh, that all of the side characters got a lot more interesting in this game, because they weren't there to be a foil for another character as much, or to, you know, give a character a MacGuffin on their quest. They get to, you know, stomp out evil in their own right. Sure. I mean, uh, Imp is a royal bodyguard, and uh, one of the sages in uh, Ocarina of Time. Uh, so in the canon, it's supposed to be a pretty big deal. Um, aside from teaching like a couple of songs and pointing you in the right direction when you don't know what to do, she doesn't get to do all that much. But in this one, uh, she gets to go to town with that like giant-sized Naginata and just you know wreck people. Sure, actually super fun to play. In this. And it's the same for uh, a lot of the other you know side characters. Um, I will say it's the first Zelda game with DLC, but uh, I'm okay with that because all of the DLC that I've interacted with has been really good and not, like, terribly priced. Sure. Uh, it's usually a pack of new characters and a bunch of new maps, and all of that's pretty worthwhile if you enjoy the game, so, yeah. I'll reward good DLC with my money. I don't mind. That's fair. Um, we uh, we did realize when we were doing all the updates and stuff that we hadn't picked up the last batch of DLC because that was right around the time the Switch was coming out and I had kind of gotten super hyped about that. Now, we also, before we started recording this, this is about a, a half hour later than we wanted to start recording, and I feel like the whole reason behind that was actually Oops. really funny Wrong to wrong. me. Oh? Just the, the fact that you had to uninstall the entire system. The whole thing. Like oh, this yeah. Is a, essentially... Yeah, no, we, we, we went with the nuclear option, and it's basically a factory, fresh uh, Wii U now, with, you know, a handful of things on it, because that's what we've been playing. And it's, like, that's such a weird thing to discover in this, the year of our Lord, 2017, a Wii U that had to get all of its day one updates. It was kind of interesting, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about it until we uh, okay. turned it on and tried to do so literally anything. How do, how, do you, how do you think I use bombs? Uh, you touch pads, the Wii U. No, nah, it's, it's, um, it's the right trigger. And then I throw like nine bombs out there. That seems excessive. Yeah, well, welcome to the Warriors <laughs> game. Fair point. I was going to say, bombs used to be like a finite resource that you sometimes had to be really careful with. But, uh... They I can do this forever, actually. They couldn't <laughs> afford to have you uh, get stuck mm -hmm. in a territory control game that happens in real time. So they needed to make sure that Link always has bombs. Sure. And so the bomb gauntlet literally produces infinite uh, amounts of bombs. Uh, on the plus side, that makes the Dodongo fight a lot easier. That's true. Uh, there's this big, like, Tyrannosaurus iguana lizard thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and in every game he's ever been in, it's, you know, punch him a few times, throw bombs in his mouth. Uh, that was harder if you had to worry about running out of bombs. Right. But uh, now it's just... Oh, well, it's a little bit like a Monster Hunter fight. You, you wait until he does his tell, and then you just sort of, you know, chuck him into his mouth. 
Alright. Um, I do really like the territory control in this game, like, better than some of the other Warriors games. They can be really weird in a lot of Warriors games. Uh, in this one, it's, it's very obvious. If you're inside of the castle area, you're fighting for this key. Uh, you beat up dudes until the keep boss comes out. Beat up so the keep boss. Beat up the keep boss, and then your guys will come in to take control of the, the keep. Uh, if it's an enemy keep, it produces the enemies that flood the stage. So taking control of keeps uh, reduces the number of bad guys milling about and messing your guys up. Yeah. So it, I don't know, just I think it was a really good way to show the flow of the battle. Like you could very easily tell where things were going good and bad. Yeah. You could always tell where an enemy commander was because those were keeps that would start to spread. That makes sense. Time um, to wander away from my set objectives. I think, uh... Oh. Well, there's all sorts of the map that I don't technically have to play. Ah. Right. Yeah. That's a good point. That is a, that is a warrior's staple is, we don't have to do this, but, <laughs> you know, there's usually some incentive to do so. Get extra points for killing Lu Bu. Yeah. Extra points or weapons or something. Yeah. There's, there's usually some, you know, cookie out there to entice you away from your main job. Right. Um, I think the weirdest one as far as territory control was the Dynasty Warriors Gundam. Um, for one thing, the space levels never felt right. Like, I could never tell where, where the stage wanted me to be. Uh, because they never figured out that third dimension terribly well. There was a floor to your space, uh, but there were still bad guys in it, and they could shoot at you. And it was annoying. Uh, but I wanted to be big, stumpy robots bad enough, so I, I got good at it. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I gotta tell you, I'm not a big fan of any time there are elements of bullet hell in anything that isn't a bullet hell shooter. <laughs> And to be oh, honest, man. I'm not even a big fan of bullet hell shooters. So, so you're telling me you don't want to come over next time we're playing any of the Toho games? <laughs> That's not, uh, not quite my, my whole thing. That's fair. Like, I, I uh, as previously noted, one of my favorite games is Dark Souls, a game where you fight a dude, unless you're doing it wrong, and then you have to fight three dudes and you're in trouble. <laughs> Massively overleveled end game gear, and now you have to fight three dudes, and things are not going to go great for you. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many guys. Oh, yeah, they're all over the Now, I'm really glad that these games exist, uh, and the reason is not because I have a super amount of fun playing them, I think they're alright. Uh, it's because one of my favorite tabletop role-playing games, Exalted, has mass combat rules. And this and is how you describe mass combat rules. Yeah, and I'd never been able to really get my head around it until I had played one of these. How one person could just mow through people like it's, you know, stalks of meat in a sight? Basically. Like, I couldn't quite visualize it. It always struck me as... What do the I, physics of that look like? And yeah. then it's like, oh, someone built an engine for that. It's Koei, uh, Koei Tempo. Yeah. Tech man. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, they've gotten exceedingly good at it. Um, I mean, there's a million of these games between the, the main Dynasty Warriors franchise and all of their little spin-offs. Yeah. Uh, I guess they just came out with one called, like, Warriors Legends or something like that. It's a, like... Everything. You know An everything game. I would like to see them turn their hands to mm. some uh, some Western conflicts. I would like to see a Warriors game set in the Napoleonic Wars. I remember joking about like a Revolutionary War in a, uh, uh, one because I just wanted to see the most buff George Washington <laughs> that like that mines. they could possibly render. Right. Yeah. yeah. I was I was literally picturing him with like a flag and a gun and he was gonna fight with some kind of spear and like musket <laughs> style. Yeah, I'd be really into that. Like 
I, I would love to see the Battle of Waterloo, where you actually have to, at the end boss, fight Napoleon. <laughs> I guess Napoleon would be their uh, uh, Sao Sao or uh, Nobunaga. Yeah. That'd be some good stuff. Uh, like, really, any major any major Western conflict. Heck, go back further in history and do the... Uh, so you don't have to worry about the guns. Punic Wars. And do the Punic Wars. Or all the way up through the uh, Roman Wars... Uh, all of those various uh, Roman civil wars. Mm. Okay, so I gotta run back to get the gold skull before it disappears. Uh, the uh, this is where having a second player is handy because you just gotta be in two new spots. You, you have, uh, yeah, that's true. With a lot of Dynasty Warriors stuff is one of you's doing the mission or at least keeping it from like going bad, mm -hmm. and the other one's doing all of the random fetch quests and like you know achievement hunting. Uh, well, that's why these games have such massive replayability, don't you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, playing as the different factions or uh, achieving the side quests, that sort of stuff. Oh, definitely. Play every mission um, as all three of the dudes who were there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that they added for uh, Hyrule Warriors that I really dig is... Uh, there's a like a challenge map that you can do, mm -hmm. and it's the original Zelda uh, map, and uh, each square is a battle, and that's how you that's how you get around the map and uh, collect items, and it's really it's clever. It's not necessarily a full battle. Sure, but there's there's usually some quirk to it, some mm -hmm. like you know, weird uh, play style or objective that you have to do. So by capturing that, I blocked off my access to the north. That's unfortunate. Oh. Yeah, yeah that's... that's wait, your, your own guys won't let you through? Well, no. That's another classic highlight of uh, Warriors games, is you do too well, and now you can't do the thing you wanted. <laughs> oh. Oh. That guy was about to... What a nice man. <laughs> yeah. That's certainly a thing that happened, but I think this thing opened up. It did not. Somebody wants to talk to you in that keep, I think. Uh, what, in the bottom corner? Yeah, that's how I complete the, the mission. No, no, in the keep you were just in, there was a... Oh. A speech bubble on the mini-map flashing. Oh. Huh. I don't know what it means or what purpose it serves. Perhaps it means nothing. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I know in one of the Samurai Warriors games, uh, uh, me and a friend were playing, and he was Hanzo, and his uh, his entire storyline, my job as the overleveled character was just to hold the entire line together. <laughs> well, he had to ninja route around, because there were certain places where he could only get there by like double or triple jumping. Mm-hmm. And only the ninja characters could do that. There were two of them. Ah. So he had to run into all of his ninja secret objectives while I kept the main one on uh, on lock for him. I'll level with you. I really like any game where I can just uh, go back and grind old missions and get massively overleveled. Um, just because it's always nice to... I, I don't like to do it, but it's nice to know that if I'm having a rough time, there is an option for me. And also that's, uh... Like, that's how I've gotten it's better... It's cathartic. Yeah, and it's how I've gotten better at most things in my actual life. It's just like, I'm kind of bad at this. Well, I guess I could figure out how to do it really efficiently. Or I can go back and grind all those base skills up. <laughs> just do it over and over until I've got the rote memory. Yeah. It's all deep in the muscles. That's one way of doing it. Yep. I, I guess some of this stuff does translate to real life. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can learn a lot about real life from video games. I mean, you know, video games are made by people. That's true. Based on some, you know, bit of life experience on some of them, I suppose. <laughs> As we trounce a lizard man with a shield. <laughs> yep. So one thing I really like about this game over standard Dynasty Warriors games is the effectiveness of dodging. Oh, yeah. I, I never really felt like the other games really 
figured out how to dodge. Uh, I mean, you could happen to be standing where the attack isn't, and that was always very good for you. But as far as actually being able to, like, combat roll out of the way or... They have actual blocks in this game, but I barely ever use them. Well, because you can just die. The dodges work so and well. Dodgers have invincibility frames. Right. Yeah. And uh, they feel like Zelda dodges. I mean, because in the Zelda games, you typically needed to, you know, juke out of the way. At least with the 3D ones. Uh, you typically needed to combat roll out of the way so you could get behind or to the side of something to, you know, poke at the red flashy thing. Yeah, and I mean, unless there's a, uh, unless there's a recoil frame, there is no reason to ever use uh, box in a lot of games if it's got a dodge option. Yeah. But, I mean, we definitely saw that playing Dark Souls. Oh yeah. Dodging is better than blocking if you can pull it off. Yep. Yeah. That is occasionally a big if. And then that, you know. Yes. Awesome. And then and then parrying is in theory. Uh, better still, again, if you can pull it off, which now I cannot. If I had hook shot, I could go up there. But not yet. And there's a Skeltella up there for me to go up there. I don't have hook shot. That's one of those replayability and go back and fight the mission again bits. Um, this was also one of the first like games other than uh, Smash Brothers to have some amiibo support. Um, basically, any, uh, any Legend of Zelda amiibo that does something. Uh, okay, I should probably go complete the mission. <laughs> Are you sure there's still a enemy? Yeah, I, I need to go get that keep back <laughs> that we lost, and then I might want to go back up north and grab... I'm joking, I'm not going back up north to grab that one out post. <laughs> but you are we going are to take that keep, keep that you don't need. Oh, absolutely. Well, I'm going to need it here in a minute. <laughs> okay. You've but, played this before, I have not, so I'll just believe you. I don't know. But no, I, I, I dig the Amiibo support on this one. Uh, it gave some cool items, and uh, the uh, the Link one at the time uh, actually gave a different weapon type for uh, Link. Uh, yeah, I, I probably have to activate that one again. Probably. Amiibos uh, are such a strange thing to me. Like, I think they're pretty cool, but I don't... Things like I don't like physical objects. Sure. The only reason I buy games on disc instead of on uh, down just did you download right. is because I would rather a massive corporation not be able to just be like, well, now you don't have your game, which I mean can and will so, happen at some yeah. point. This is gonna be fun. Oh, Do you have boy. to just stay put for a bit? No, I had to wait for the. You gotta use the magic, sir. Ah. See, the great fairy will be not changing things. Oh, right. Oh, hey, it's a Koei Tecmo game. Yep. I mean, I think this is what she was supposed to look like in uh, Ocarina of Time. There just weren't enough polygons. You only got three triangles per three. <laughs> Makes them real hard to be uh. round. I mean, it, it kind of looked like that old school uh, Madonna bra, but you know, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we're upgrading my bombs. The capricious little fairies decided that all bombs will do mega damage now. Hmm. I got 138 kills. I, I was gonna say I only worry about the people who didn't know that upgrade was coming <laughs> and perhaps did not clear the blast area in time. I mean, that's why uh, you don't have friendly fire. <laughs> you just disable it in the options menu. Yeah. Basically. I'm very curious why okay, so we have never we... done that in any human conflict. Mm. Just bad management, in my opinion. <laughs> Secret! Man, you're doing this big territory control stab 15 dudes with a butter knife thing and you still <laughs> have to smash a pot yeah. to get some rupees. Oh yeah. I mean, you know, they wanted to I keep I want to know where this guy came from because this entire battlefield is mine. <laughs> they, they, they wanted to keep that uh, authentic feel. Yeah, it's gotta be... 
got to be a Zelda game. I do, I do think it's funny that you don't have to cut grass in order to find rupees. <laughs> I always felt mowing, like that mowing, was a... mowing lawns was the yeah. memory I always had. That that's uh, I always figured that that was what was going on. Is that was an elaborate metaphor for something that they thought. Uh, like that's how. Uh, getting paid to mow grass works. <laughs> I don't know what the yard situation is in Japan. Uh, not very small. many unless you're in the country. Unless you're in the country. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Any time now. There we go. Oh, it's the glowing red weak spot. Is that yep. what you need to hit? Yep. Oh. Had to throw some bombs in his, his big old craw there. And then stab him up a little. Oh, yeah, yeah. He just sort of lays there and takes it for a bit now. He's got a tummy ache from all those <laughs> bombs you. I can appreciate that. Like, very relatable character in my opinion. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. That... Again, some Monster Hunter stuff right there. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, where did he come from? Was he just <laughs> waiting on a hilltop? He did land in the middle of your central keep. I have to assume that they just sort of catapulted him in. <laughs> he, well, did, that, uh, he did roll in like a sand. Is there a, is there a big empty space to the south on the minimap? Is it like a lake or something? Maybe just <laughs> yeah. swam up. Yeah, it could be. Gotta get your cardio in somehow. King. Something. King Dodongo. Sounds like a racial slur for a group that doesn't even exist. <laughs> hey, you captured the key! Yay! Jerk. To be fair, uh, if a giant lizard man jumped into, I think, any military base, even in the modern era, that military base is now that big lizard. <laughs> Basically, yeah. I watched the American Godzilla movie, you are absolutely right. <laughs> I know. The enemy wizard has seized the castle. Somehow. Somewhere. The beast was just a distraction. It's good distraction. Very hey. distracting. We can't find Princess Zelda anywhere. Uh, probably kidnapped. No. Or running around as a ninja. What's the difference? Eh. She's not governing. Yeah. Uh. That's all I ask of my monarchies. <laughs> Sure. Oh, yeah. That's... Well, thanks, I guess. <laughs> I mean, cool sword. I don't mind the help. Mm. Who do you... Oh, no, wait. Hyrule does have gods. Okay, oh, yeah. never yep. mind. Oh. Right, right. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, somewhere Marcus is silently weeping if you forget the <laughs> creation myth of Hyrule. There's so many fantasy worlds that are weirdly agnostic. That's true. Hmm. Like, fantasy worlds are either weirdly agnostic or everybody knows 100% for sure who the god, who the gods are and what they do. Mm. By the nine divines! I mean, that's like one of the very rare exceptions, because only eight of them are real. Wait, what? Yeah! Oh. One of them is a elevated hero god. That makes sense. Like the Empire. Uh, man. But in every age, I can talk about Elder Scrolls all day, but we are not playing an Elder Scrolls game, so maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> That's probably a good idea, yeah. Although, maybe I mean, hey, we could. I was going to say, uh, yeah. Skyrim's coming out for the Switch. Uh, because uh, it is required that Skyrim come out on all things. Why is it that, if, for my money... It's going to it's gonna come out on a smartphone soon, just to give it time. The worst Elder Scroll, like, the worst modern Elder Scrolls game is the one they keep remaking a million times. <laughs> I mean, like, that's probably a controversial opinion. It, it has lots of dragons. People really like dragons. People really like dragons. Okay, so last time we split up Ganon into four pieces and hit him across space and time. Seems like a bad idea, just keep them all together in one room. Right? Four separate chests, sure. Yeah, that makes sense. That's just a safety precaution. <laughs> I was going to say, when he's holy, he has the ability to whisper to people and influence stuff. It's real bad. But... I mean, collected some rupees. you need to they keep them spent in the bazaar. You need to keep them somewhere where you can keep an eye on them. Like, maybe not in the same room, but like, 
you know... Like within the same municipality. Yeah, yeah, same city or something like that. So that as soon as you notice one of the boxes start to move or do something, you can, you know, yell at someone to go check the other three boxes. Oh, right, it's a Koei Tech. Yeah. You can now battle as Impa. I gotta say, that I found a thing music becomes a lot less special after the 15th or 16th <laughs> time we heard it. Oh boy, we had to, I wish we, we had were to, recording. We had to sit through a cascade of those as all of the DLC stuff relaunched. The DLCs, oh, the updates, the... Just Ooh. letting you know all this cool stuff we got for you. you <laughs> all this great stuff that we can uh, you can play your game with. I mean, I'm glad it reminded me. I completely forgot about, like, half of it. No. Yes. Listen. I don't know a lot about the Zelda mythos, but... I was under the impression that that was not the uh, most popular sound that has ever been recorded. You know, I like Navi. You are willing to put your head in a noose for any character everyone else has agreed should be thrown off a bridge. Nav is your Z target. Try, shoot, try shooting an arrow without that fairy there as your marker like drone. Uh, like between Navi and Tom Nook and who else? What other? Jeez. Oh, I, I only find out about these things as the outrage happens. I don't know who else I like that is unpopular. I'm sure I'll find out once I find out they're unpopular and I go, but wait, no, you're you're looking at this wrong. So you, you, you are on the side of Navi Tom Nook Funko Pops. I, gotta... I, am, I am a Funko Pop apologist. But I mean, I'm not saying they are all good, but I'm saying that I have bought several that I enjoy very much, and for $9.99, it's a pretty reasonable buy. Like, comparing them to $50 Nehendroid toys from Japan is unfair. <laughs> and on that note... Sorry. Uh, this has been Endless Mode, first mission. We can decide whether we want to go to the Elden Caves and advance the story, or do some prequel stuff in the Elden Caves with uh, a series bad guy, Sia. But we should probably wait until we actually see her in the... Uh, in the flesh. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's a Koei Tecmo game. Bye, everybody! Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Catch you later.